Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, May 12th. And we will get started here in just a moment or so. Uh, I just saw the notification went out that we have gone live. So uh, some folks will be popping on shortly here and then we will get started. Certainly a change in weather today. Uh, grateful for uh, some warmth that is is going to happen and the temperatures are gonna warm up a little bit and um, that always helps my mood. So I hope that it would help yours uh, as well. Again, we'll, we'll wait just another moment here. Good morning, Joyce and uh, Anita. Good morning. We'll wait about 30 seconds or so. Thank you uh, for being so faithful in logging on, uh, Joyce and Anita. It's nice to see you each morning. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll get started. And uh, the, the good thing about Facebook Live is that folks always have the option to go back and listen afterwards because um, once the live video is over, it posts to our news feed and, and there we are. So, um, so today is Tuesday, May 12th. And here in our state of Ohio, today is the day that uh, retail establishments begin to reopen. Of course, we've had uh, several that have been open with um, essential businesses, but others that uh, get to reopen today. And um, I, I must admit, I, I don't intend to go shopping today. Um, I imagine it would be kind of crowded and folks excited to finally be able to get back and shopping. And um, I admit that that concerns me a little bit about um, making sure folks are really following all the necessary precautions and not uh, spreading this virus now that we're all um, beginning to come out of our quarantines again. Um, and, and the thing that today that's really on my heart and mind are, are all of those retail workers, um, those who um, really work at not very high paying jobs, who put their lives um, at risk so that they can earn a paycheck and um, concern for them today as as people you know get out and decide okay finally it's been two months I need to get out and shop and um, so if if you do go shopping today please be uh, patient with um, retail clerks and and all of those folks who are trying to to follow appropriate guidelines and um you know don't don't always get treated really well so so be kind to them i guess that's my theme for today is is to be kind um even the story that i'm reading today with uh, uh at story time at 10 o'clock is about being kind it doesn't hurt us uh, to be kind, and it shows shows our Christian witness when we are kind to others. Um, so scripture that I'd like to share with you today along those lines comes from the uh, book of Ephesians. So this would be the letter that was written to the church at Ephesus, beginning with chapter 4, um, verse 25 through chapter 5, verse 2. And uh, the heading of this section of scripture is rules for the new life. So it seems uh, appropriate for us in this time as well. So then, putting away all falsehood, let, us all, let all of us speak the truth to our neighbors, for we are members of one another. Be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger and do not make room for the devil. Thieves must give up stealing. Rather, let them labor and work honestly with their own hands so as to have something to share with the needy. Let no evil talk come out of your mouths, but only what is useful for building up as there is need 
so that your words may give grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with which you were marked with a seal for the day of redemption. Put away from you all bitterness and wrath and anger and wrangling and slander together with all malice and be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ has forgiven you. Therefore be imitators of God as God's beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. So again, as we um, see things begin to open up and retail establishments opening up together, up today, um, be kind to one another, be tender hearted, forgive one another. If someone gets too close to you in line at a store, you know, offer them grace. Uh, it's let no evil talk come out of our mouths, um, build one another up. That That is our Christian witness. That is our rules for a new life. And that's the, the way we should be treating one another all the time, but particularly um, now in this time and as retail establishments open up today. So be kind. That is my word of encouragement today. Again, that's the title of the story that I will be doing at story time today at 10 o'clock as well. So I encourage you to tune in for that. A few other announcements or um, some information um, about things happening within the life of our church. Um, next week, I will be taking a staycation. So we will not have... Uh, these 9.30 live sessions each day next week, and our story times will be reruns. So if you have a favorite of a story that I have done over the course of the last two months that you would like us to rerun, um, please let us know, and uh, we'll be sharing those stories again next week. Um, also, uh, we are in the process of working on upgrading our streaming software so that we can work on some of the audio issues that we have had. And um, so Rick Hawk and I are meeting today in the sanctuary to um, with some new software and some new equipment that we hope that we'll be able to roll out this Sunday. Uh, if not, it will be the following Sunday. Um, but look for some, some upgrades for that. And that will then be in place when we are... Um, as we begin to open back up in the church, that's going to be quite a while before that happens, but we'll have all of the kinks of that uh, worked out. It will also be good for us to be able to utilize that for um, Vacation Bible School. You'll be hearing some updates about that and um, whether the, the group is still uh, discerning uh, based on getting some feedback from families who've participated before about us doing that. Um, but if we do, it will be an online option. So having those um, software and, and tech things worked out for that will be really helpful then too. Um, our leadership board is meeting on Thursday evening uh, to Begin, well, we've had some conversations about reopening and what plans we need to have in place and all of those measures to be sure people are safe. Again, I don't anticipate that that's going to be for quite some time, probably sometime later in the summer, but um, we're working and planning on those things and wanted you all to be aware of that as well. And um, I think uh, that's that's where where things are right now in the life of our church. We are still um, reaching out and sharing the gospel with with our community and sharing God's love um, with our community and, and still at work um, as the church and being a witness and fulfilling our mission of loving God, loving people and serving the world uh, right in right in our community of Westfield. So um, be kind to one another today. Um, be kind. That's that's the message for today. So I'll be back on again at 10 o'clock with story time and then back here again tomorrow morning at 930 with some additional encouragement. So um, have a blessed day. Enjoy the sunshine and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.